हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट नंबर्स डेट कलर रेंज ईमेल सर्च पार एंड यूआरएल इन एच फॉर्म्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग यू कैन नोट नेम ऑफ माय एंड्रॉयड ऐप दैट इज टैक इमेज यू कैन डाउनलोड इट टू लर्न प्रोग्रामिंग इट कंटेन्स ऑल माई वीडियोज विच आर अवेलेबल ऑन यूट्यूब so first is input type number so inside form tag i have to implement input type number so that i can create number uh, input box here minimum value is 1 and maximum value is 5 so i can enter values between 1 to 5 using this input type number its name is quantity so name attribute is used to uh, define any identification of the html element which can be used by server side scripting language so now i am going to implement this with the help of text editor so i am using notepad plus plus text editor output of this editor which is containing html code will be rendered on web browser so you can see input type number name is quantity minimum value is 1 and maximum value is 5 so i am saving this code name of this file is form input this file is available in my html folder so i am opening this file in google chrome so use google chrome because these are latest html tags so uh, there might be some problem in another uh, web browsers so prefer google chrome to display output of these html codes so you can see that number box is available here it is having two navigation bar downwards for minimum and upwards for maximum so you can see that i am clicking upwards navigation bar so maximum value is 5 if i click on downwards then minimum value is 1 so i can provide values between 1 to 5 in this number box next example is input type number name is points minimum is 0 maximum is 100 then step is 10 and initial value is 30 so its initial value will be 30 if i move uh, upwards then it will become 40 50 60 and so on if i move downwards then its value will be 20 10 because step is 10 here so now i am implementing this code minimum is 0 maximum is 100 step is 10 and its default value is 30 and its name is suppose range so i have implemented br because these number boxes will be displayed in separate lines then in this second input type number minimum value is 0 maximum is 100 step will be 10 and initial value will be 30 so i am saving this code now moving to web browser i am clicking on reload so you can see that this is first number box this is second it is containing initial value 30 if i click upwards then it becomes 40 50 60 and so on if i move downwards then 50 40 30 20 so this is because of step so step is 10 that's why it is increasing by 10 and decreasing by 10 so this is all about input type number next is input type date so if you want to select a particular date then you can use input type date in html code name is optional because right now we are not using any server side scripting language so i am skipping that i have saved my code moving to web browser i am clicking on reload you can see that date option is available here by clicking on this arrow button i can choose any particular date which i want so suppose i i have selected 14 so it will display 
first month then day and then year you can change month by clicking on this you can move forward you can change its orientation if you click on a particular month its calendar will be displayed so with the help of this option you can uh, select any particular date using html next is color so if you want to choose a particular color then you can you can use input type color so i have implemented input element and attribute is type color so i am saving this code moving to web browser clicking on reload you can see that color option is available here i can choose any particular color which i want to display and i i can click on okay so this color color is selected here so this is color palette with the help of this color palette you can choose any particular color which you want to select in web browser next is input type range so with this input type range you can uh, draw a range on web browser so now i am implementing it i have saved this code moving to web browser and clicking on refresh so you can see that a range is available here i can click on this thumb to decrease or increase its value so right now it is minimum its minimum value is 0 and maximum is 10 if i increase it to 100 then its values are now 0 to 100 so these values can be used by server side scripting language because right now we are implementing only html code so you can view how range uh, can be displayed on web browser but if you want to use its current value then you have to attach a scripting language like asp php or gsp with html code next is email so using input type email you can create a option for user where uh, he or she can type email id related to that person so i am typing br then input type equals to email i am saving the code clicking on reload so you can see that email option is available here so i am typing my email id so this is email option where you can enter any particular email id suppose you have entered wrong email id like i have removed at the rate from here so if you implement submit button and you click on submit then automatically an error message will be displayed here so you can see that if i move to uh, this email option it is showing that please include an at the rate in the email address so right now it is showing it with the help of tool tip but if you include submit button then it will show an error message so suppose this php script is attached here now i am implementing input type submit i am saving the code moving to web browser and i am i have clicked on refresh and i have entered only sanjay in this email box i am clicking on submit you can see that please include an at the rate in the email address sanjay is missing at the rate so with the help of this uh, you might have understood it automatically checks whether your entered email is valid or not next is input type search and input type url so now i am implementing these
so this is input type search i am moving to web browser clicking on refresh so this will automatically implement search option next one is url so this is url option so here you have to type uh, like url of any particular website i am typing name of my website so it is also checking please enter a url so you have to use https slash slash then it will become valid so this is url this is search box and this is email box so all these input uh, elements are having in uh, default validations that uh, that will be checked automatically so you don't have to care about the validations which are attached with these input types so you can implement any of the option which i have demonstrated in this video in your forms so these are very much beneficial or helpful so you can design your form with the help of these elements you can further connect your uh, form with any server side scripting lang language so that you can receive the input provided in these input elements and you can uh, also process them you can store them in your databases so this is up to you uh, whether you use these uh, elements with only html or you connect these elements with any server side scripting language so do practice of these elements so that you can understand how they are working uh, in html thank you for watching this video